initially I was trying to get it, but like when O caught it, throw it and try to dunk on crowd, but uh, it didn't work that way. But uh, it was just a play we put in not to, yesterday, actually. It was just late game. Late game, just <laughs> give me the ball and let me attack the big, especially when they play drop or get a foul or something like hit all the road. Were you happy with that, that last shot, that how everything worked out there? I mean, obviously you're happy with it going in. I mean, yeah. Uh, I got. I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I thought I got fouled, but you know, it is what it is. Before I could grab my arm, but you know, I wasn't really tripping. You know, I just turned, and then after he grabbed, just picked up the ball. I thought the clock was like almost at, about to go out, so I just threw it up. You guys were in this position a couple weeks ago against Maryland. You need needing to stop to making plays on the other end. I mean, what were I guess some of the differences between then and now? How were you guys able to execute on both ends? Um, I would say just being more uh, connected. Um, communication has been better. Um, I've been telling the guys, you know, we got to be the bullies the last few games that we lost that we should have won. We allowed them to get in our space and do certain things that uh, they do and make us uncomfortable when we should be doing the same thing to do to make them uncomfortable. So it's those, two, those two things. You what was down four in overtime. Were you thinking, here we go again? Or where, what, was the, the, what was your feeling at that point? And then you came back and around. You know, it's overtime. It's like, I don't even know what, how much time was on the clock, but you know the game went over. So you know, went to Peyton, hit a shot. We got to stop. Went to me. I mean, you know, at the at the end of the day, just go out there and play. You know, just go out there and play as hard as you can because you don't know how the game will turn out. So that's what we did. Go out there, give everything you got for the past three minutes. Tony, the excitement was palpable from you guys. Did you, could you feel like this was a much needed win? Uh, yes, um, I give a lot of credit to the fans. Hopefully, we can keep it going for the last few home games. Uh, they got into it. That allowed us to get a lot more energy than what we usually have because we just get energy from the bench sometimes. So I think the crowd helped a lot. And then just the way we've been um, on each other, I'm heavy more like communication-wise, expecting more from somebody and you know telling what we need and just me and Peyton and Pat just being more leaders to the guys. You and the team uh, obviously started slowly. What did uh, you in specific and the team in general do to get that right? Uh, nothing really. You know, they subbed me out, uh, put Brock in, played phenomenal. Um, and then second half, this came to me. I mean, it's, you had a few games where your first half wasn't good, but we know what you can do in the second half. Just go out there, be you, give us all you care for 20 minutes. I won't suck you out. Just go out there and do what you can. So, I, I apologize if you've been asked this, but can you walk us through that last sequence, the last basket? Because it looked like their guy went for the steal. And you maybe lost position a little bit, but ripped it back. Yeah, uh, Owen threw it to me, um, and then he went under. So I just got it, bulldozed my way. Then I spit, but you know he grabbed my arm, so I just shot the hip, got the ball. So, yeah. Tony, I think you had talked about a little while ago how the, the way you've been playing hard is just the urgency, I guess, that the season's kind of coming to a close. And this, it could be your last college season, I guess. Which, you know, what about that feeling, knowing that this, this could be kind of your last one in college? Is, Um, go out with a bang on the rest of these games. Uh, just keep winning. That's that's just what it is, you know. Sorry. I, I like winning. So just keep winning. Right. In, in the second half, what changed for you? What's your point came in? Uh, coaches and my teammates uh, being there for me, uh, believing in me, I guess, you know. Um, like they said, I walked through the locker room at halftime. I was like, that's on me. I'm bringing this down right now. You know, I ain't being much of a leader or much of who I am. And it's like, it's not all on you. Just come back out here, do what you can, and the coaches as well. So same thing. Tony, you've played in a lot of big games, even as an underclassman. For Owen to go out there, I think in 2012, like six assists. I mean, what's that show for him? I mean, he didn't miss a shot either. Just how to stay composed in a tight game like that. Uh, he's a beast. I told him every time he get foul, get a rebound, get a bucket, I look at him. You are a beast. <laughs> Act like you are a beast. Um, so you know, just I think the type of player he is, you know. He goes to the ball, he can score, he free throws, dunk on somebody, you know, just the type of player he is. He works hard. Um, and also, he got me in his ear to tell him how good of a player he is and also the others. But, you know, show me a beast. So, you know, show me a beast. You know, crowd's a good player, but come on. You a beast. Show me better. <laughs> in the second half, you seemed to get going with the, the high screens, and it seemed like the, almost like the Illinois game last year. Was that kind of what you were feeling there? Uh, Yeah. Um, also, um, you know, they was doing the same thing with J.D. Good. Good mid-range shot as well, so we just take turns. You know, you get it, I get it, so we just taking advantage of the drop coverage. Tony, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but when you were running into the tunnel, it looked like you were kind of emotional. Can you just just describe what this win means to you and just the rest of the team? Uh, it means a lot. You know, um, we 
been having games where we should have won. We've been in the lead and they come back and we lose. So that's been really very um, hurtful to the team and me as well, you know, but being able to get this is good, you know. The only way we can go is up now. Then just also, you know, that uh, journey documentary came up. So, you know, just, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it just hit me. Yeah. So what has it been like for the, the freshman Josh to obviously play with us? How have you kind of seen him grow from the time you played with us? I've seen him grow a lot. You know, Josh, you know, he played big games, didn't play as much, but now he's starting. He's playing good, playing great. Uh, Owen, as you can tell, he's a beast. Um, and also Brock, you know, he, the minutes that he get, he come out there and perform. Defensively, offensively, make the plays, make smart decisions. So, you know, great players. And also Price, too. You know, he's crashing the board, knocking down shots, going to play defense. You know, he's doing everything that he can, and they all do anything. Everything that they can to get on the court, and I like that. Tony, after the Minnesota game, uh, some of the players and the, uh, the coach reassured that a uh, win like that would just start to build momentum for you guys. Now you guys get this this big win. So do you think that some of the stuff that you did, did against Minnesota carried over into this one? I mean, yeah, we were still. I said we would take we we had some pain still from Maryland because we should have won that game honestly. And, um, that Minnesota game helped as well because they was up on us by twenty. We came back and uh, we was down tonight as well. We came back so. I think we got we getting used to that, but it's starting to change. We just finna take off, and like I said, up from here. What happened in the Last first thing, Scott? What happened in the first couple of minutes? Um, I mean, Fran called a timeout like two minutes into the game. You guys lost track of their shooters, and I think you got swiped from behind. What was kind of the, the problem there? I guess just a lack of urgency. Um, when we came out, uh, we just let them score. When being our being who we're supposed to be or the best we can be, so. You know, we just let them get too many comfortable looks. Uh, let them hit, I think, four threes, three threes, maybe. Um, let their post guys just get in there, get an offensive rebound. So we just came out sluggish. But, you know, um, we just stayed encouraging each other. You know, I messed up. Somebody else messed up. Just, you know, we expect better. So we'll come up better. All right, thank you.